Hi YouTube, this is Ronan Hyphy, aka Lady Rain, also known as Diamond Girl Cali on Instagram or Twitter. Although I'm not really on Twitter that often. Um, if it looks like I'm looking away, it's because I'm on my webcam on my laptop and I'm looking at this small little box right here that's me and trying to focus on the camera at the same time. Um, today I'm coming with just a regular wig review. I bought some wigs a while ago. Never got a chance to wear them because it's summertime. So I just want to come today and just give you my first impression of a couple of wigs. So this will be one video out of, I don't know, two or three. The first um, one that I want to show you is the Model Model Lace Front Peruvian Natural Deep Invisible L Part Wig. If you guys can see that. Her name is Alpine Meadow. I got her in a 1B. So don't mind my nails. Today is kind of a beauty day. I've been um, on the road all week running up and down the state of California for tests and conferences and everything getting ready for the new school year so I can go back to work. Um, so the thing about this wig is I really like it. I don't have too much negative to say. It's just a regular synthetic stuff. Um, it has the the regular cap that has the invisible part uh, hand tied. It has the adjustable strips, uh, straps inside, a comb in the back, and then a comb right up here near the part area to hold it secure. Lays down pretty good. My hair is natural. I haven't put any edge control or anything on it. Usually what I'll do is take my small flat iron and take some of this out and straighten it and put some edge control. And then um, it will lay down, but... Just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that because I'll be changing to another wig for the next video. Um, it's about 20 inches long. I wouldn't say 24 inches, but it goes like right below the boobies if I stretch it out. Um, it's very lightweight, so this wig can be worn in the summer. It's not thick at all. It's very then it's great to wear it to maybe like an outside barbecue or something like that. Only thing I will say is the texture of the hair is very soft. So it's kind of like fly away. What I do is I spray some of my Bobo's wig spray onto the paddle brush and go through. And that kind of helps tame the, the flyaways. Because if you don't do something about those flyaways, that's when a synthetic wig starts to get really tangly um i'll put this hair in the back it's not thick so was, i had all of the hair pulled forward um this is how it hangs in the back like i said it's not very thick it's very lightweight i have some synthetic wigs that are very thick and they tangle underneath a lot this is one of those wigs that you are going to have to make sure that you undetangle it underneath here um, when you take the wig off. You want to definitely make sure you take time to do that. That's how you can make your long synthetic wigs last even longer. And the other thing is like not to use any oil-based products on them. Just use products that are water-soluble. Um, Sometimes with wigs like this, I'll take some lightweight mousse, spray light hold, and put it in my hands and rub it over the top like this. That time, times flyaways, and it keeps your bangs from looking all crazy because these bangs are not growing out of my head, so the wind or anything can mess them up very easily. And then when I try to push them back, to where they need to be and I'm holding the mirror off here to the side because of course the webcam shows everything in reverse um, sometimes you try to push just push them back off to the side they look real raggedy and fake so that's one thing you can do to make the wig look r more realistic and then here is the 
the part. It can't stand to be tweezed. I'm not a tweezer, so I don't really do that to my wigs. Uh, later on, when I put some makeup on and stuff, I will go. Oh, God, I always break these cheap mirrors, so there I go. Um, I don't believe in superstition, so for all of those who people who come and say I'm going to have seven years of bad luck, I don't think so. Um, I'm blessed. Way too blessed to stress off of some phony superstition. But um, I probably will go put some concealer in there later on if I choose to wear this one for the day. But right now I'm just giving you a quick review of how I feel about um, the wigs. I want to give some shouts out to some of my YouTube wig beauty mavens out there. Um, her style, or her, or, or her style yo, I know she recently changed the name of her channel. Um, I subscribe to her. She has reviewed these, this wig. Um, Pretty P. Collins. I want to give a shout out to her. The boss, Ella. Um... Muffins is my lover. You guys, I've been watching you for a long time. I've been watching all of your videos. You are the ones that I go to when it's time for me to order some new wigs. You guys are the ones that I go to. And I'm just coming on here with my own rig wig review to give you a little shout out. Because one thing I want to say, the things that they say about the wigs are true. They are reputable. I've watched some wig reviews on YouTube where the wig looks really cute and they say all these great things about how fabulous it is and I get the wig and the wig is garbage. Um, one of the ones that I want to say about is paparazzi. That's not a wig that you take out the box and put it on your head and it's instantly looking good. It's kind of a mess, it's kind of stringy, it's extra shiny, and there's just, it can look good, but there's just things you have to do with it. So I'm just saying, if you're gonna do reviews on YouTube, um, or tutorials, not so much tutorials, cause tutorials, you're just showing somebody how to do something. But if you're gonna do reviews, give a honest review. Um, my reviews are honest. I don't get these wigs from anywhere. No one sends them to me for free. I'm just coming and letting you guys know the real about the wigs. Um, another thing I wanted to say, one thing I wanted to be very conscious of was making sure that in my wig review, I have a view of the top of my head, over the top of my head. This doesn't help me, you guys. Mm -mm. This doesn't help in the wig review. I can't see the top. That doesn't make sense. So um, some of you guys who are amateurs like me out there making videos, please back up from the camera. Please have it somewhere where we can actually see the top of the wig and all its fabulousness or not. And that way your review has more integrity. So like I said, before I post this, I'll put on some makeup and take some pictures and add it to the end so which you can, so you can see what it looks like if I were to wear it outside the house. Thank you.